when we were growing up, he would tell my mom, she, he'd watch these solid gold dancers. They were really gorgeous dancers on TV. And um, he would tease her that it was models just like those solid gold dancers, two of them put together. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's mean. I know. Yeah. And he would tease her all the time. And then she would say something about his wallet, like, well, she did something, well, my weight looks like your wallet, which means you're not that great a provider. So, you know, wow. you know so they were, they were digging at each other. So it was always about my dad's lack of ability to provide and her lack of care, what he calls, he says, women who have let themselves go. So, and when I go see my dad, I would go, even as an adult, if I were thin, he would treat me different. He would like kind of treat me like his girlfriend, you know, like put his arm around me and want to be seen with me, and even make his. It would seem like his partner was, you know, we would be walking ahead of her, she'd be behind us, and we're like all, you know, same clothes and everything. And then when I was bigger, I would get treated differently. Like he would uh, not spend so much close time with me, you know, there was this sense of, well, I, I, I must not be all of a, you know, I'm letting myself go, so I'm, my worth as a woman has mm-hmm. gone down. Mm-hmm. That was the, the feeling anyway. Literally so, like five or ten pounds would make a difference in yeah. how he treated you, you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 